Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be a first impressions of the new Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt line. So there's a couple different products in the line. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a scoop on that and let you know what I think. But this line is specifically designed for those who have extremely dry or brittle hair. So if you're experiencing a lot of damage, whether it be from heat styling, chemically processing your hair, or you just don't moisturize it well enough so you're experiencing a lot of breakage, then this is probably going to be the Shea Moisture line for you. You can see my hair is looking really dry after my workout right now, so I'm excited to see how well that line's going to strengthen and hydrate my hair, especially the protein treatment. But I think the product I'm looking most forward to trying is the split end balm. So it says it's a hydrate and repair split end balm, and I say repair in quotations because. I don't know if you guys knew this, there is no repairing a split end. Only thing you can do is pretty much cut it off. But what these products do is they're supposed to strengthen or basically reduce the amount of breakage you get. Um, kind of mend it together, glue it together if you will. So anyone who's ever experienced split ends, you know how brittle those ends can be. If you tug on the split end, it can easily break off, which you should never ever do by the way. Because that creates a bigger mess, which you should actually do is just take a pair of scissors and cut it off where you see it splitting. So this right here is supposed to just reduce the breakage, kind of mend it, glue it together, and kind of strengthen those ends a little bit so I'm excited I do have a couple split ends that I'll show you guys in just a little bit so you guys can see for yourself so I'm gonna go ahead and test it out see how well it works all right so before we get into the review let's talk a little bit about split ends so split ends are caused by mechanical thermal and chemical trauma to the hair now these stress factors can weaken the hair by stripping the hair shaft of its protective outer layer making it susceptible to split at the ends and in some cases along the hair shaft now because the hair shaft is so weak it can easily be broken off but you should never ever tug at a split end to break it off with your fingers as this will result in the end still being frayed which will lead to another split end instead you should just take a pair of scissors and cut above to create a clean manicured end there's a couple different types of split ends such as a basic split end which you'll see is when your hair is splitting at the ends there's single strand knots which curly hair is really susceptible to now you can see the ends of this strand are not split but there is a knot that's visible on the strand just like a normal split end the only thing you can really do to get rid of these is to just cut them off Another type of split end is one in which your hair will split along the hair shaft without necessarily splitting at the end as you can see here. Everybody is susceptible to split ends so don't worry if you see a few here and there but if your entire ends are pretty much covered in split ends and your hair is easily breaking off when you pull on it then you're probably long overdue for a good trim. So comment below and let me know if you guys would like me to make a more in-depth video on split ends and tips to prevent them but let's go ahead and get into this Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt line. First up, we have the shampoo, which has such a pleasant, sweet scent to it. You guys, this stuff really just smells amazing. It smells really, really good. And you can see that it lathers up quite easily, which is definitely something that I love. So this shampoo is supposed to gently cleanse your hair, as well as strengthen your strands when used regularly with the conditioner. The whole line is blended with shea butter, manuka honey, and yogurt, which will help moisturize dry, brittle hair. And I will say that the shampoo did not strip my hair at all, so it didn't feel dry. On the contrary, it left my hair feeling moisturized and very cleansed. After rinsing off the shampoo, I applied the protein power treatment, which also has a pleasant scent to it. So the protein treatment has a very, very thick consistency to it. There's absolutely no slip to it whatsoever. The key ingredients in this product are shea butter, manuka honey, and yogurt as well. And it also contains mafura oil, which is supposed to soften and promote healthy looking hair. So this product claims to fortify weak strands, combat breakage, and split ends to leave hair looking smooth as well as leave your hair soft and supple. Like I said, because this product was so thick, there's little to no slip so if you like to tangling with conditioner in the shower then you might have difficulty doing so with this protein treatment and you might be better off using the conditioner for that because it has a more slippery consistency after applying the protein treatment to my hair, I used my Curidoo handheld steamer to both detangle and open up my cuticles to allow the product to penetrate my hair better. Then I covered my hair in a plastic bag and allowed the product to sit on my hair for 20 minutes before rinsing it off in the shower. So the protein treatment left my hair feeling moisturized and stronger. So now it was time to get down to the nitty gritty of things and it was time to use the split end balm. This product is a bomb so you can definitely expect it to have a very thick and greasy consistency to it now I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what this product is supposed to do so I located a split end to show you a close-up of how this product is just supposed to instantly seal and reduce the appearance of your split ends but you can see it did just that by mending my split end to give my hair a sleek smooth look but of course, I do want to make it perfectly clear that products like these are in no way, shape, or form repairing your split end because you can see the split end is clearly still there. Remember, the only cure for a split end is to just go ahead and cut it off. And as I mentioned before, products like these are just meant to reduce the appearance and reduce breakage. 
To style my hair, I apply the split end balm to medium sized sections of my hair, focusing mainly on my ends, which did leave my hair feeling very nasty and greasy. Then I followed up with the multi action leave in to moisturize my hair. This too had a pleasant scent to it, like the rest of the products did. Then I went ahead and I brushed and smoothed out the section and braided it and just repeated the process on my entire head. So these are my braids after they're completely dry. I went ahead and I slept in them and I have 12 in total. And my ends, you guys, they do not feel thick and greasy like they did when I first put on the split end balm. My hair actually feels very soft and moisturized, so I'm excited to see the results. I'm gonna go ahead and take the braids out so you guys can see for yourself. But looking through my hair right now, I do see that my split ends are pretty much back to normal. Um, I guess the split end balm didn't really hold too much. I don't know if it's best to apply the product after you style, but on the directions it did say apply the product and then style as usual. So this is how I would normally style my hair when I'm doing a braid out, but perhaps it might be best to um, apply a little bit of that after you take your braids out and depending on how bad your split ends. My split ends don't really bother me. Um, I don't have, I mean, I have a few, but it's not to the point where you can really tell and my hair looks really bad and damaged. My thoughts on the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt line. It's a good line. Um, I'm definitely very pleased with it. Um, there are some pros and cons to it, which I'll get into in just a little bit. As far as the shampoo goes, I love the shampoo. It was moisturizing for me, not drying at all. And it has great lather, which if you're new to my channel, I have this thing with lather. If I don't see a shampoo lathering up, I just don't feel like my hair is getting clean. I don't know. I'm weird, whatever, but that's just me. So this one is good. I'm definitely going to keep using this one. So I will be stashing this one. So as far as the conditioner goes, I didn't get a chance to use the conditioner because I wanted to give you guys an honest review on the protein treatment by itself to see if it was going to be hydrating on its own. So the conditioner I'm going to use in the future. Um, I've never had any issues with any Shea Moisture conditioner, so I just don't, um, foresee anything bad happening with this. It did have good slip when I um, showed you guys the consistency of it. Okay, so getting into the protein treatment, you guys, the protein treatment was extremely, extremely thick. I'm talking shea butter thick. So if you're planning on, you know, possibly detailing your hair with this in it, um, yeah, that's probably not gonna work. There's absolutely no sip to it whatsoever, but it's a protein treatment. It's not like a conditioner. It doesn't have that sip a conditioner would. So, um, I mean, that's not really a con per se. Uh, you can always detangle your hair beforehand. Maybe try using the conditioner and then applying this or maybe using this first and then shampooing your hair because it, it does say that this can be used as a pre-wash intensive treatment. So you could probably use this first wash your hair and then use the conditioner if you need the extra slip to detangle in the shower or you can just use coconut oil beforehand to just kind of help you detangle a little bit. So the protein treatment definitely left my hair feeling a little bit stronger. It did go ahead and hydrate my hair. I did not get that wow factor that I get with, you know, certain deep conditioners where my hair just feels super, super moisturized, but my hair definitely was moisturized, um, but it obviously did not dry my hair out. So it's obviously a win-win situation with this. It does say hydrate and repair. It's a protein treatment. I'm expecting it to strengthen my hair more than anything. So this I do recommend, especially if you have, you know, damaged hair where you need that extra protein to kind of strengthen your hair up a little bit. So this um, I will be stashing and I will be using this in the future again. As far as this split end balm goes, you guys, I'm kind of on the fence with it because I feel like it may be useful for somebody, but it's not useful for me. I honestly am probably never going to use this again in the future because I just really don't have any use for it. I don't have split ends to the point where it's like, oh girl, you need to cut your hair and you can really see them. Don't experience a whole lot of breakage. Honestly, split ends are pretty much hard to avoid, especially when your hair is really, really long because if you think about it, your ends are the oldest part of your hair. Um, so these are probably like three or four years old so at some point they're gonna want to split and just fray and you know all that craziness so that's why it's good to get trims regularly and I mean even after using this um, it did a good job in initially kind of mending and gluing my split ends together at first but honestly as I woke up and undid my braids I can see that my split ends are still back to the way they normally are um, I don't know if you guys can kind of see a few up close so honestly after using this my hair felt very very thick and greasy especially my ends where I was you know focusing on applying this it's a bomb I mean it's expected to have a thick consistency kind of like Murray's pomade if you will but it was just very very thick and greasy 
So the directions say apply to damp or dry hair, focusing on ends and then style as usual. So when you tell me to style as usual, if I were to do a wash and go, there's absolutely no way my curls would curl up the way they normally do, especially my ends, because you guys saw once I applied it to the ends and you know was focusing on the ends, it just was really thick, heavy, and was weighing it down. Even when I tried to curl up my ends um, after I did my braids like I normally do, because that's how I keep my braids from unraveling, um, my hair just wasn't really curling up the way it normally does. So this would probably only be good for me anyway if I did like a braid out or a twist out. And then even if I were to try and use this again in the future, I probably would apply this after I either take my braids out or after I take my twists out or while I have my twists in, I would apply some on the ends. Um, but doing it beforehand um, and then sleeping in it, it just didn't really do a good job in keeping my, my split ends mended together. So would I recommend this product to you guys? Um, honestly, someone may find a use for it. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know who I think this product would be good for. So just kind of reading the back, it does say that it instantly seals and reduces the appearance of split ends, which it did do that at first for me. Um, it reduces breakage from heat styling up to 89% for a fresh cut look. So I think this product would be best for someone who wears their hair straight often. You have a lot of split ends, but you're not really ready to cut your hair because you don't want to lose a whole lot of length. So this is probably going to be a good product for you because it's going to help reduce the appearance of those split ends. This probably would have done wonders for me when I was first starting my hair journey, where my hair was terribly, terribly damaged. I was experiencing a whole lot of breakage, and I was just... My hair was breaking off into layers on its own, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture right here so you guys can see. Um, but this probably would have helped me in reducing the appearance and keeping my hair from looking so damaged. So it also says it's a humidity blocking balm that holds rebellious ends together for a frizz-free, silky smooth finish. So if you're somebody who experiences a lot of frizz, this may also be good for you. If you have high porosity hair, your hair tends to get frizzy a lot. This might be good for you. I personally don't really have a problem with frizz. I don't experience um, a whole lot of frizz and I don't experience a lot of breakage. My ends don't look bad. So again, I probably just really have no use for this. Um, the only thing I could probably think that I would use this again in the future for is, you know, it's, it's very, very thick. So it is going to definitely hold any flyaways down. So I could probably use it to like, like, you know smooth anything up top so that's just kind of my opinion on this split end bomb you guys um, it's not a product that I need to have in my regimen it's not a must for me um, it's just gonna kind of be there if I reach for it it's probably just gonna be to just kind of tame a couple flyaways I have up top if I don't feel like using um, some gel but let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried it already if you have let me know your thoughts um, if you have not let me know if you're thinking about trying it Okay, so last but not least, we have this multi-action leave-in. So this says it does it all. It absorbs quickly to hydrate, recondition, strengthen, and smooth abuse hair while it preps for easy styling. Helps repair brittle heat styled hair by reducing breakage up to 87%. So this was very, very moisturizing, you guys. Now, I typically don't use spray leave-ins to style my hair, but I did want to go ahead and use it to give you guys a, pro a full review and let you know, you know, how moisturizing it was, if I did like it or not. So it is very moisturizing. I would recommend it, um, especially if you love spray leave-ins. But me personally, I only use spray leave-ins on like day two, day three hair. If I need to re-moisturize my hair, I'm in a rush. I just spray real quick and then I use some oil and I dab it on my ends. Um, but as far as using it to, you know, fully style my hair to do like a twist out or a braid out, I just... It's very... It's irritating for me, you guys, to just sit there and y'all know how much product I use, okay? For me to sit there and just keep pumping, pumping, pumping to get enough product onto my hands to apply it, it's very, very irritating. So I just actually prefer to um, use stuff in tubs like this. But that's just me, you guys. Y'all know I'm a little bit weird. Uh, but again, if you love spray leave-ins, um, it is a good leave-in conditioner. Um, it is very hydrating, so I definitely would recommend it. So those are my final thoughts on the new Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Yogurt line, you guys. It's definitely a good line. We'll be using a lot of the products again in the future. Others not so much, but it definitely is a line that I would recommend, especially if you have dry, damaged, brittle hair. If your hair is breaking off easily, it's probably going to be the line for you because it's going to help, you know, just kind of help strengthen your hair up to reduce the breakage. Um, but honestly, um, you really can't go wrong with Shea Moisture, you guys. There's literally a line for everybody, depending on your hair needs, um, you're going to find something within the Shea Moisture brand, which is why I love them so much. Y'all know, y'all already know. 
I love me some Shea Moisture, but I'm definitely not afraid to tell you guys my opinion on things. Um, if one line isn't meant for me, then it's not meant for me. I can just go ahead and try a different line. But as far as this one goes, this one um, did a good job. I do like it. We'll recommend it, and we'll be using it again. Um, but I hope you guys found this review helpful. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up so more people can find it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, girl, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and actually Chia. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.